You are looking at the baddest 1969 Camaro. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sophia, my 1200 horsepower Camaro that I have been looking for for the last 10 years. My entire life, I have been wanting to do a Camaro build. I found her from a guy off Craigslist who didn't want to sell the car and needed the money. We all know how that goes. I bought the car off of him and I brought her back to life. Speaking of return to life, you guys can get your fresh apparel at hartfordltd.com, return to life. Everyone's fighting a battle that you know nothing about. So uh, we're already almost sold out, so make sure you guys go cop some now. This engine is a 1200 horsepower Texas Speed 408 stroker with Turbinetics 6566 massive twin turb skis and a T56 Magnum transmission. And not only that, remember guys, this is my grocery getter. I plan on getting my coconut waters and my flaming hot Cheetos with this car. So of course, I had to run power steering, AC, and we needed some Hydro Boost power brakes. Now anyone who's done this has run twin turbos, who's had the headers come up like this. Fitting a master was a little challenging. We did cut and weld. She might get a little toasty. So if you guys have recommendations at home, if anyone's done this, let me know. And guys, take a look at this. My first time welding aluminum. These are my welds. Georgie's pretty stacked dimes are mine. We both weld this, he was showing me aluminum, which I always just do titanium and steel. But wait, with 1200 horsepower, with twin turb skis, I bet you're wondering, Amelia, how's this Camaro really gonna handle? Well, I don't see any boats in this garage. We're working with the best of the best. We have full Detroit Speed on this car. We have the Detroit Speed Hydroform subframe. We have the Detroit Speed subframe connectors. And take a look at this, the Detroit Speed Quadralink rear with the mini tubs. Now with all that power and all that handling, we're gonna need to be able to stop. So we have these massively, insanely large bear brakes. Size reference. Double adjustable front and rear coilovers with external reservoir and you see this fuel tank? We're running a Holley Dominator with the EFI. Now the wheels, we're not gonna be running these. We have some custom forge line wheels that are currently being designed for this Camaro, but I wanna drive the car, so I'll probably end up driving on these in the meantime. Now, this isn't your typical YouTuber build. We were going all out. We were pulling out all the stops and we're not cutting any corners. If you look at this and focus on the attention to detail, we are really going extreme. This four day build has turned into a six week build and we're not done yet. There's still so much to do. We haven't even talked about interior, but I want to drive the car. So I'm thinking of just throwing a couple seats in there, putting the wheels on, making sure she stops and starts and steers, and uh, maybe uh, going a little sin happy and just drive the car. Why not just at least get a feel, right? I have such a cool sponsor for today's video. Please, I would love to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Zen Market. Zen Market is a Japanese proxy shopping service where you can buy from thousands of online stores. Check out how cool this is! I can shop for JDM stuff that you might not even be able to find in the US on the Zen Market website through Mercury, Rakuma, or Yahoo Auctions. This is nuts. They do all the translation for you and you can just buy parts from Japan, no problem. They have an international team based in Osaka providing you with the best online shopping experience so you can buy your favorite items with ease. Buying items from halfway across the world can be nerve wracking and they are here to make your experience as painless as possible. They offer multiple shipping methods, including UPS, DHL, FedEx, and Zen Express. Get yourself some JDM parts or Japanese goods. You can hit the link below and get free account registration plus a 740 Zen point gift for new members who use promo code ZENAMELIAH on sign up. Also, get 5% cash back in Zen points for every Mercari product bought during the campaign from now to December 22nd. Thank you Zen Market for sponsoring today's episode and helping me get access to so many Japanese parts. Now, let's get back to the video. The sun is going down. We have a lot still left to do. We have to get the steering shaft installed. We need to get the clutch bled and working. We need to fill the diff. We need to also install the drive shaft. We need to mountain wire the holly. We need to install the seats and we need to run the throttle cable line and Boost tubes. Yes. Boost tubes. Let's get to work. We have one hour. While Sandy's doing the boost tubes, I'm putting in the drive shaft. I just filled the diff with fluid and then we'll continue on. 
throttle cables run through the firewall. We're waiting on a bracket. There's the bracket. This is a makeshift bracket because we're waiting for the real one to show up. We just want to drive this car. You can self-clearance a piston, but you can't self-clearance a hood. That'll be fun. What Oops. time's the clock, I say? Oh. oh, we're not setting a clock right, right now, I just, Sandy. I just said it. <laughs> okay, we're trying to drive. <laughs> That's enough throttle, right? This isn't first fire, but I'm more excited right now than I was for first fire. I am currently sitting inside of the car. We have the shift knob. We have the dash. We have the steering column. We have the steering wheel. We have all three pedals. They have been bled. The seat, the center console, and power, baby. Look at that. Throw it, throw it. Throw it! Yeah! I think the important thing to do right now is to fire her and make sure she goes into every gear and that the clutch and the brake pedal work. Or else Sandy's not gonna get in this car. Uh-huh, true. <laughs> I guess this is it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Welcome to the world's sketchiest first drive. My name's Amelia Hartford. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it sounds so good! Got oil pressure. Yep. All right. All right. First gear. You know, step on the brakes. Step on the brakes. I'm stepping on the brakes. Hard as you can. Yes. Okay, the brakes don't work. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. Really? Well, that's no good. All right. It's so. a good thing we tested it on the left. <laughs> I was so excited five seconds ago. This <laughs> is the abusive relationship of car ownership and building. <laughs> Stupid cars. This is a this is a no drive situation. This means Well, I mean you could drive without brakes, just not near any stationary objects. I'm just glad that we're educated enough to test the brakes on the lift in a safe space. I would have jumped out. <laughs> it would have just aided to Sandy's fear of riding passenger. <laughs> I mean, we're dumb, not stupid, okay? <laughs> I mean, we're into cars. We're dumb. We already know this, okay? What savings account? I'm sitting in it. Yeah, that's right. Drugs would have been cheaper. <laughs> that's, right. okay. that's true. That's right. Drugs would have been cheaper. <laughs> All right, well, there goes first drive. We got to figure out why the brakes aren't working. It almost feels like we have a bad booster because you, you step on it. It's almost like it's hitting a wall right there. Like, this is a hard stop. It's not going all the way down. So, not only that, I mean, it's not stopping the wheel. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, at idle, you'd think it would have stalled the motor. Something. A you know, bit. Yeah. especially with those big old things. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody bought the humongo brakes. So. <laughs> Just trying to make you feel comfortable in the passenger seat. So, it's not the brakes. <laughs> I mean, it's the brakes right now, but it's not the brakes. Can we put a brake pedal on the passenger floorboard? <laughs> yeah, right. That, that would make me... That, but then people are going to think you're scared of the driver, Sandy. And you're not scared of the driver. No, it's everybody else. <laughs> All right, let off. It's doing something. It's doing something. It's just not doing a bunch, but... There's no way that wasn't stopping it for first gear. Less. Yeah, but you're the one who saw it. That's crazy. Brake. That's less. That's more. It, I mean, the, the bias turned all the way... The, it's all the way to the rear. It's all the way, so it should have full rear brakes right Yeah. Now. All right, first gear, I'm letting off the clutch. I'm off the clutch. I am slamming on the brakes. Oh, I did it. Kind of did something that time. That time it worked. I don't feel warm and fuzzy about the brakes. Well, let's fire her one more time. And I think it's like rock, paper, scissors. Best two out of three. Sandy, just keep your door open and just drag your feet if we need to. If the brakes work two out of three times, you're good. You're totally good. All right. Stop. They stopped real good. Okay. Well, I mean, it seems like they're working, so. All right. We'll stand in front of the car. Just put it in neutral. Squid Games, we won. On to the next challenge. Let's go, baby. <laughs> when in doubt, <laughs> twist off. Yeah. Jump out. I can't. I'm locked in this door. <laughs> yeah, the door. By the way, the door broke off camera, so. <laughs> Them Duke boys. Get <laughs> themselves in a pickle. <laughs> yeah, buddy.
The brakes seem to work. Why no power steering though? I don't know. Unless that pump can't keep up with brakes yeah, and power steering. When I pin the brake, it grabs the wheel. If I turn the wheel, the brakes, it like. Maybe it's not plumbed correctly? Jesus. Yeah, they work. Yeah, it dies every time you hit the brakes. Yeah, I think we've got a plumbing problem. So, it's the kinks. Yeah, that's why we do this. We're working out the kinks. She seems happy though. Yeah, well, it should be. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Do that one more time? From the catch can? Alright, well I think we know what we need to work on. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let me see if I can back her in. This might be the nastiest Camaro I've seen. I think so. I would Jeez. call that a success. Comment below, let me know what you think. For sale. No, hell no. <laughs> what did you just say? You're so, not even wearing the merch and you're gonna plug the merch? I was trying to keep my new merch clean. <laughs> but you guys should get some merch. That's right, tell them more, Sandy. HartfordLTD.com. Hey, oh, look at that. Oh, even an old dog can learn new tricks. <laughs> oh, I just locked it. Just don't like that matters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man, this is one of the coolest builds we've done yet. Damn, this thing's rowdy. It is nasty. And we're not even done yet, just wait. I can't believe how far this has come. 1,200 horsepower of American freedom. <laughs> no, but really you guys, this might be one of the gnarliest builds that we've done yet. So thank you guys. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, comment below, let me know what you think, and hartfordltd.com is where you can get this sick return to life. Everyone is fighting a battle that you know nothing about apparel. Ikuro, we out here with love. Bye! <laughs> the American dream. Hot rods and in and out. How did we ever have the world's fastest quarterback? <laughs> <laughs>